Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Bad Parenting, which is a horror game where you play a toy that must witness some very bad parenting. Bad Parenting. Story 1. Mr. Redface. I think I already have an idea what Mr. Redface is. Whoa. Is this your mom? Son. Mom, you're home late again. Come on, I was busy with work. Can you have some sympathy for me? But today is my birthday. Oh, oh, of course, I know that. Then where is my gift? The friends we made along the way? Um... Have you ever heard of Mr. Redface? On the birthday of good children, Mr. Redface secretly leaves gifts while they are asleep. Really? Of course. If you want to get your gift, you have to go to bed right away. I'm going to bed right now, Mom. Uh, you're fooling the kid again. How many times have you come home this late? I was working, my shift ended late. Bullshit. You still think I'm an idiot, don't you? Hey, little shite. Get back to your room. Don't stand here eavesdropping on grown-up conversations. Okay. Go on. Oh, the uh, gameplay started. <laughs> I'm eavesdropping. This game has a very uh, distinct style. My room. Two beds. Interesting. All right. I'm going to sleep now. The song is a cliche, and if you hear this song, it's gonna be a sleep time scene today. Whoa, lightning! Can I help you? Are you Mr. Red? Yes, I will follow you. Whoa, what are you? Are you leaving me a gift, Mr. Redface? Thank you, Mr. Redface. Is that the gift for Mr. Redface? No way! Hi, I'm Ron. What? You can talk? Of course, because I was created by magic. You even have the same name and appearance as me. That's right, my master made me just for you. But your neck seems a bit loose. It's okay. Because our master makes mistakes. This is just a small flaw compared to the other dolls. Whatever that's foreshadowing anything. What's important is that from now on I'll be your best friend. That sounds wonderful. 
Do you want to play something with me? Hmm, my master stored my toys in the closet. Could you get them for me? Yeah, I can. It's locked. The closet's still stuck? Can you try that again? Seems stuck. I try my best, I can't open it. Do you want me to do something else? I'm hungry. Your doll, can you even eat? No, you'll be the one eating. But I'll be able to feel everything you eat. That sounds a little weird. My master linked all your senses and emotions to me, so I can easily understand you. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Wow, that's amazing. Let's go get something to eat. Mom, Dad. I have a talking doll. Hmm. Pills and... Drink. You read this letter at 1 p.m., aren't you, sleepyhead? I've prepared your favorite dish in the fridge. Remember to heat up before eating. Lately I've noticed you've been getting lazy about eating. You don't have much time at home, so please learn to take care of yourself and stop making me worry. One more thing, don't forget to take your medicine after eating, Mom. You are holding something else. Oh. You stay there, little guy. Okay. Now, where do I put this? Oh, yeah, I got heat up. Yep. Okay, put that there. Let's see. Is that your favorite dish? Do you want to see me perform some magic? Does that involve money? Yes, please! Alright, I'll make this plate of food never run out! Every time you finish eating, the dish will be restored to its original state. I feel like I'm just being lied. Wow, that's amazing! What else can you do? Bring back Ed's mom. What do you, what do you, what do you... Did you just get drunk, doll? What just happened? I don't know. You guess. You're the one who did it! Oh no. The bottle. My dad's gonna whip my ass. I hope he's still asleep. Your dad? D don't worry, my master has taken your dad away. Wait, what? What did you say? I think I need these pills. How'd you get here? Where's my dad? As I said, my master has taken your dad away. Why? Because your dad is a bad person. He often hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken away from, by my master to protect children like you. This is too much. My dad doesn't deserve that. He is a bad person. No, he's not. Please, let my dad go. I'm begging you. Alright, alright, but my master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. You'll have to use a shortcut if you want to get there in time to save him. Show me the way. The shortcut is through your closet. Let's go. We did see him like, go up to the closet, so it makes sense. You still can't open it. That's disappointing. There's portals.
They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad is being held. Give it a try. Alright. There's nothing in here. Oh, right. I forgot. There are a few steps you need to take to activate this shortcut. Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. This radio will work like an elevator button. You just select the frequency first. If you choose the right frequency, the door will open to the place you need to go. That's right. This is done it. Let's try again. No! That's the wrong frequency. That seems pretty cold. I think this is the one. This is like Krampus? Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. Welcome to Narnia! Hey. What's up? Looking for my dad. Describe? My dad's name is Bruce. Wait a moment. Damn cat bureaucrats. Bureaucats. There are many Bruces here. Any more details? Is this Bruce a good Bruce or a bad Bruce? Well, my dad is the kind of person who gets a bit angry. So he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. There's still many bad bruises. More specifics, please. What else does he do? He often yells. Still not enough information. Sometimes he hits me. And slaps, too. And... That's all. The door is behind you. Haha, <laughs> we just, he just got startled. Who are you guys? Sick you, we're our kids on our way to find our parents. We're staying here for a bit, do you want to join us? I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Okay, see you later. Oh, these are some ugly kids. Dad, are you okay? You're in the untextured room. Like... Yeah. Dad? Please, stop. Punish me. Me. It's me, Dad. Please, stop. Punish me. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home. Mr. Redface will take both of us. Please, stop punishing me. He's right behind me, isn't he? Oh. Was he not? Spell. Yeah, what's up? He's gonna keep, uh, I think that's not human anymore. Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you hiding in the closet? Mr. Redface has taken Dad. Oh. Well, that's a good thing, then. I'm not joking. It's a long story, let me explain. 
How's your doll Ron doing today? Is it alright? The doll? Mom, how do you know about Of course I know, since you haven't taken your medicine today. This isn't the first time you've had such hallucinations. Every time you tell a different story, but the common factor is always that stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? No. <sighs> I don't know what is wrong with you. Just go to bed, it's midnight already. Uh... Sure. Those eyes are just staring off into space. So we should have a Mr. Red Face meant like drinking, because you go you get red in the face. Are you tea posing up here? Oh. oh What just happened, son? Are you alright? Do you feel better now? Yeah, Mom. It's Mr. Redfit. It's alright. Tomorrow I'll take a day off to stay home and take care of you. Really? Promise me, Mom. I promise. Now go back to sleep so I can get jump scared again. Yes, Mom. Hey, what's up? I'm the jump scare. Mom? Uh, you've broken the promise again. Maybe she's just out there making breakfast. You think about that, huh? Nope, never mind, she left. <gasps> you look... beat up. Or dead. What happened to you? Master beat the shy of me! He wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. I'm sorry, it's my fault. By the way, have you seen my mom anywhere? My master has taken her away. What? Just happened. I'm sorry I couldn't stop him. You should run away. Because we'll come back soon to take you too. Go, I have to see my mom and my dad, too. How? Don't you see what he did to me? A spell ticket? I found this in my dad's prison. I think it might help us defeat him. And he's like, that's just a piece of paper I just wrote down the word spell on. That, that does nothing. That, that's the spell to defeat Mr. Redface. Very convenient. Come on, quickly go into the closet to find where your mom is being held. That's a goal. Mr. Redface, I've come to bargain. Where are you all hiding from? Quickly, put the spell in her, take a cover. That's just the mom crying. There's nothing like Mr. Redface in there. Take cover! Oh, there's Mr. Redface.
supposed to do anything? Whoa! Just made a rave in there. Did it work? What the mom? Do I just go back? You're toasty. What's happened to you? My master has been defeated. The magic against Casimir is also fading. Are you disappearing? Don't worry, this is what I wanted. You should go outside and see your parents. It's not gonna be that easy, is it? This is like Coraline. Right? Although I think this is all metaphorical. Dad? Mom? You're all free now! Uh... You've been having an affair, haven't you? I told you I was busy with work. Liar. You neglected this family for another man. Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? What about you? Do you think you're better than me? You're just at home leeching off of me all year round. What kind of f father are you? I think it really is just like a hallucination. You know what I do, it's my business. I still bring money home to support my child. And if you still think I'm a whore, you're alluring yourself even below that. One more word. Fine, you and I will get a force. One of us will have to move out of this house. If you're still here tomorrow, I'll take my son and leave. You stay right there. Dad? Mom just leave us with this guy, like, just downing bottles? <laughs> yeah, so I told you, you missed a red face. I won't let this happen. Oh god, we're dead. Wait. I... I'm not the son. That's the son. But who am I? True. I'm very sorry, Ron. We'll be dead this whole time. Your closet. I think you're gonna be able to open it now. So the events we just saw there, that was the very beginning of the game. That was and then it cuts right here. Everything else was just like you're just dead. Literally rotting in the closet. This is me. I don't know anything about these. You've always known. Because I am the knowing part of you. You've tried to deny and reject these things and made up stories to make yourself feel better about you and your dad. And me, I have to find a way to lead you back to the reality. I've tried many times, many ways to help you accept this truth as easily as possible. 
And every time I fail, guess what happens? Tick-tock, boom! Your memory sets back to the starting point, which is the night your dad murdered you. How long have I been dead? Fourteen days. It can't have been that long. What really happened to my parents? As for your dad, he's hiding in a cheap motel room. Ah, I see. Go home with me, Dad. So he's just drunk, freaking out in a hotel mo well, motel room and be haunted by what he did. But my mom, she still sees me, doesn't she? And the mom, if we go by the other world, she's crying in a room somewhere. Because that's what we saw, the spell room. That's right, because she's only at home late at night. But if it is daytime... Son? See, there's the crying. <laughs> this is probably like a police station or something. <laughs> Do you have any clues about your husband's hiding place? Grenade? You just dropped something, ma'am. Oh, an envelope. What is that? Is it where the husband's hiding? It's a business card from Motel. But I'm not sure it's mine. That's the spell. It's an evidence bombshell to track down the dad. To defeat Mr. Redface, quotation mark. I get it. I get it. Killer father arrested. Yeah, they got him. So then we were able to move on. Because we throw the spell, we're able to move on. Now, uh, that, that ended the loop. Well, about some bad parenting. So they ever kids? They're probably all kids that like died and like you were buried, probably. You were burned in a fire. They torched your body, and then you were like stuffed in the back of a car. And I'm assuming they like, pushed you off in like a river, or they just abandoned you or something. And then you got stuffed into a closet. So. The kids, each one is just basically, that's where they died, that's where their bodies were left. And this is just like their little child murdered limbo, <laughs> which is extremely dark, dark story. The end. So apparently there's going to be a sequel of this? Because this is Bad Parenting 1. I, I, I guess there'll be standalone sequels. Just like, here's examples of bad parenting. So, that's it for bad parenting. I actually like this one quite a bit. It's got you got a few creepy parts, but it's such a surreal kind of nostalgic style. 
it reminds me of certain um, PS2 games, and I forget the name of it. They had like a rat or something. It's a Japanese, I think, PAL only release. And there was a, a few other ones, but it, it's a kind of a quasi surreal PS2 polygonal style. And obviously, it's not that advanced graphically or anything, but it's just doing some interesting stuff with the limitations of what it's doing. Uh, it's doing that. It does like a almost like a stop motion photograph stiffness thing a few times too. So it creates an interesting effect. Creates a very surreal effect. Uh, I've already kind of explained the stories that I played with the. And I actually kind of, as soon as I said Mr. Redface at the very start of the game, I'm like, it has to do with drinking. That's the only time I've ever really heard that term. And it turned out to be right, yeah. So, the story in itself, I, w I wouldn't use the word cliche, that's a little too strong. It's more of the premise is common. And I even mean the, the fact of like using a horror monster or the perceived concept of maybe there's a horror monster being symbolism or metaphor or visualization for like what is some kind of abuse or toxic parent or bad parent but as a whole with the surreal imagery and everything and the overall feel it does have kind of a interesting kind of appeal and writing wise everything came full circle and made sense so anyway 